Tyler Bishotti with NFL Network Now on the Western One Radio Network. We knew the Dolphins were interested in trading for Jonathan Taylor. Now we know the Packers were as well. NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport reports Green Bay had trade talks with the Colts for the All-Pro back. No deal was reached, and Indianapolis placed Taylor on the physically unable to perform list due to an ankle injury, meaning he'll miss the first four games. Elsewhere, Joe Burrow is back. The Bengals quarterback practiced for the first time since injuring his calf last month. A good sign he'll be ready for week one. Also back, Zappi Hour in New England. One day after his release by the Patriots, quarterback Bailey Zappi signed to the team's practice squad. Some other moves. The Vikings signed former Dolphins running back Miles Gaskin. To make room, they waived former first-round pick receiver Jalen Rager. Wideout Cole Beasley re-signed the Giants practice squad after his release Tuesday, while linebacker Jalen Smith did the same in New Orleans. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. I didn't ask to be thrown in the streets with nowhere to go, but I did ask for help, and Covenant House was there for me. One in 10 young adults will experience a form of homelessness this year. For these kids who didn't ask to be put in this unthinkable situation, Covenant House is there, providing hot meals, a safe place to sleep, medical care, and love. They just really genuinely just wanted to help me succeed, and I'm succeeding. To learn more, go to safeplacetosleep.org today. Are you working way too hard for way too little? There's never been a better time to consider a career in IT. You could enjoy a recession-resistant career in a rewarding field with plenty of growth opportunities and often flexible work environments. Go to My Computer Career and take the free career evaluation. You could start your new career in months, not years. Take classes online or on campus and financial aid is available to qualified students, including the GI Bill. Now is the time. MyComputerCareer.edu. We are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230, KXOL Centro, California. Thursday morning, 31st day of August, 2023. We are done with August after today and looking for uh, a better September. Uh, good morning, Gene. Good morning. Did you kick it to the curve? I did. Uh, not yet. We'll let it hang around for, uh, you know, another uh, 18 hours or so. Another, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And, uh, you know, when we look at the weather forecast, it's typical that it is starting to change just a little bit in the right direction. Well, we just need to get rid of that humidity. Yeah. Well, we've got the humidity. Apparently, uh, the Phoenix area, Tucson, and uh, up on into the White Mountains, uh, they're getting uh, a, a lot of rain. So, well, they needed it, too, you know. So they that do. was a good thing. Yes. Okay. Well, mall riots and smash-and-grab robberies are becoming more common. Smash-and-grab even in the Imperial Valley last weekend. Uh, the chaos erupted at Del Amo Fashion Center in Torrance. I've been there. Uh, when been. a brawl involving teenagers sent shoppers fleeing. And another mall riot took place at the Mall of Georgia Sunday. You know, Gene... It, it was so much easier back in our day. We didn't have a mall. No. <laughs> so riots were very uncommon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You had a problem. You settled it. Yeah. Let's move along. Oh, okay. Uh, coming up, we've got birthdays and such. Oh, I, uh, I found this a rather interesting study. Somebody paid a lot of money for this. Researchers say women will stay married longer to a short man than a tall one. <laughs> Did they give any reason why? No, they didn't give any reasons. But in other words, short married guys are likely to be miserable longer than tall married mm. guys, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So Miserably so. Yes. Okay. And... Uh, Let's see. Uh, we are one week away from NFL uh, primetime football. We'll one, tell you more about that coming up. Coming up. Yeah. yeah. Right now, how about some birthdays? How about those birthdays? Okay. Singer Van Morrison, 78. Violinist Itzhak Perlman, 78. Uh, actor Richard Gere, 74. Actor Stephen Henderson, 
is 74. Uh, drummer Gina Shock of the Go-Go's, 66. Actor Jaime Gomez, 58. Singer Deborah Gibson. She used to be Debbie Gibson. She's now Deborah Gibson, 53. Actor Zach Ward, 53. Actor Chris Tucker, 51. Actor Sarah Ramirez, 48. Singer Tamara of Trina and Tamara, 46. Local birthdays coming up. Tune in for NFL Primetime Football on KXO AM 1230. Catch the action of the Thursday night, Sunday night, and, of course, Monday night games on AM 1230. No fees, no buffering. Just the very best NFL football. The NFL on AM 1230 is brought to you by Southwest Security Services and El Centro RV Service Center. Let's celebrate today's birthdays. Happy birthday, Vanessa Abarca, Adela Provencio, Sam Perez, Eric Torres, Joel Pacheco, Natalie Green, Hilda Baeza, Celia Felix Amesquita, Tamara DeVault, Dr. George Farid, Diane Cruz, Giselle Hunt, Vincent Payares, Ricardo Beltran Jr., Christina Lomax, Rosa Juarez, Eloida Cruz, Gracie Lopez, Ramona Ramirez, Liliana Cianas, Amanda Gonzalez, and Rosa Ruiz. Happy birthday from KXO. And, uh, of course, Monday, Labor Day, we've got a three-day weekend coming up. How many people, put up your hand, how many people are going to call in sick tomorrow or took it as a personal day so you can make it a four-day weekend? Mm. <sighs> I would suspect there might be quite a few. You think, huh? I yeah. would suspect. Well, Monday, as we said, Labor Day, pretty soon. I think we're going to have to change that to Robot Appreciation Day. Mm. So... Robot. Yes. Taking over the world. Yes. One step at a time. Yes. Okay. We uh, mentioned singer Debbie Gibson. Now Deborah Gibson turned 53 today. Remember her debut album, Out of the Blue, certified triple platinum? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gibson shared the 1989 Songwriter of the Year Award with Bruce Springsteen. And another, it may be name. the one and only time the names Debbie Gibson and Bruce Springsteen were mentioned in the same sentence. <laughs> Probably so. Yes. Hey, you know, she's still touring, still making money. What the heck? Wonder if she is still wearing her white patent leather shoe or boots, I should say. Probably. Yeah, okay. And, uh, well, and Tiffany's still touring and making books. What the heck? Go for it, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, some news. We're going to start with a look at World in California news headlines right now. All brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Lock your year-round comfort specialist. CBS News Brief. The remnants of Tropical Storm Idalia unleashed heavy rain and flash flooding across eastern North Carolina before moving out to sea, and they're still smarting in western Florida. This mother and daughter lost their home in Horseshoe Beach. It's just material stuff. I know. It's just so much retirement. Our life. This is terrible. We're going to rebuild. 23 years. It's going to make it. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. Lots of Americans getting ready to fill up their tanks and hit the road. Gas buddies Patrick DeHaan. Labor Day this year is likely to be virtually identical to what motors were paying last year. Average price for regular today, three eighty two dollars a gallon. More than 73 people, mostly migrants renting spaces from a criminal gang, have died in a building fire in Johannesburg. South Africa's president, Cyril Ramaphosa. It's just material stuff. And uh, he says that he hopes that through investigations, nothing like this will be allowed to happen again. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760 93 L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93 L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. 
California Headline News. Another day of poor air quality and high fire conditions in Northern California. Some public safety power shutoffs there Wednesday, just in case high winds blew power lines onto trees. Megan McFarland with PG&E says they've been able to make rolling outages less disruptive. PG&E's public safety power shutoffs have become more targeted. We've been able to shorten the duration and reduce the number of customers impacted. Air quality poor due to wildfire smoke at the California-Oregon border. L.A. police identifying the suspect accused of speeding and crashing into an Uber car last week, leaving three women dead. 31-year-old Gregory Black has allegedly committed crimes before. He's a well-known local gang member um, from the area. Um, and to get into uh, Mr. Gregory Black's little history, criminal history, he has a pretty checkered past, um, pretty extensive criminal history. Detective Ryan Moreno says for now, Black is being charged with gross vehicular manslaughter. Gas prices in the state holding steady at 526 a gallon, three cents more than last week. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News Headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. You've got a friend in the business, Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Back to school is on, and Staples has great prices on everything you need for your best year yet. Save on headphones and laptops. Save on notebooks, pens, and all the essentials. Priced low and still in stock. And right now at Staples, 24-pack Crayola crayons and comp books are only 50 cents each. Plus, select notebooks are just 35 cents each. School on, save on at Staples, where school savings are always in session. Ends 916, in store only, limit 30. In the front, we'll take out that tree, install a new fence. You're going to call 811. One, right? Isn't that just for excavators? No, dude. Calling 811 is for excavators, homeowners, contractors, anyone. Natural gas lines and other utilities can be buried anywhere. Call 811 two working days before any digging project to get all underground lines marked for free. Thanks, deep voice narrator. You're welcome, dude. Brought to you by Southwest Gas. And it's page one of the local news. Page one of service of Health Central Motors, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. Quick Lane with three locations in the valley. They service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Taking a look at the latest in local news on a Thursday morning, uh, Carol Buckley has some information on a shooting. At about 6.24 this morning, El Central Police responded to a report of a victim with gunshot wounds. The report uh, from the area of 9th and Ocotillo Drive. El Central Fire responded along with AMR Ambulance Services. No other details are available at this time. Again, a gunshot victim reported at about 6.24 this morning. In other uh, local news, dove season, well, it's uh, in uh, uh, the air this morning. And in California, it's a split season, as they call it. George Gale filed this story. The first part of dove season begins tomorrow, September 1st. It will continue until September 15th. The uh, second season begins on November 12th and runs through December 26th. Beginning at uh, just before sunrise Friday, dove hunters will be able to hunt for morning dove, white winged dove, spotted dove, and ringed turtle dove. Where are always in session. Ends 916. It is one of the most anticipated dates on the hunting calendar and is considered by many as the traditional start of California's hunting seasons. Morning dove and white winged dove have a daily bag limit of 15, up to 10 of which may be white winged dove. Possession limit is triple the daily bag limit. There are no limits on spotted dove and ringed turtle dove. Hunting for Eurasian collared dove is open year round and there is no bag or possession limits. Hunters are reminded a non-lead ammunition is required for hunting doves and taking wildlife anywhere in California with a firearm. Shooting times for dove season are for one half hour before sunrise to sunset. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. KXO News Time, 742. How about the next time you need service on your car? We come to you. Hi, this is Mike Allison for El Centro Motors and Quick Lane. Our mobile service vans are an extension of our dealership service lane. We will come to you for an oil change, filters, brakes, batteries, tire rotation, and so much more. Hey, while your car is just sitting there at work, we'll take care of your service needs. And it doesn't cost any extra. Schedule your appointment now at ElCentroMotors.net. El Centro Motors mobile service vans. What a great idea. 
In other local news, uh, El Centro man going to prison, Adrian Alvarado Lopez, was sentenced this month. He has been convicted of uh, murder of a 39-year-old Hopeville man. Lopez will be spending uh, 14 years at the North Kern State Prison. Lopez was convicted in December 21st of 2018, shooting death of 39-year-old Stephen Garibaldi in his home in the 1900 block of East Underwood Road. Lopez was convicted of voluntary manslaughter, assault with a firearm on a person, being a felon possession of a firearm, and being a person prohibited to be in possession of ammunition. Lopez will be eligible for parole in 2030. Caltrans is in the news, uh, working on Interstate 8. George Gale explains. Eastbound traffic is uh, reduced to one lane. It is at the uh, San Diego Imperial County line from about 1.7 uh, miles east of Highway 98. Crews are working to repair a road hazard. County Public Works has a work plan for Rutherford Road beginning September 5th. Rutherford will be closed from Dietrich Road to Highway 115. Crews will be performing road maintenance through September 18th. Closure will be 24 hours a day for all four days. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. That concludes this edition of Local News. Stay with us for page two. Page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with three locations here in the Valley at El Centro Motors in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 in Julia Drive and at the Imperial Valley Mall. Are you in need of free, high-quality child care? At Volunteers of America, our Early Head Start program is here and designed to help you. Volunteers of America will provide child care, family education, and health care programs for you and your family. VOA is now accepting applications for infants, toddlers, and pregnant moms. Call or text now to complete the application, 760-322-1420. Our services are absolutely free for those who qualify. Call or text Volunteers of America at 760-322-1420 or online, voasw.org. Enroll now. Volunteers of America is here to help. Fill out an application online at voasw.org or call today. Some people can't imagine doing what we do. We can't imagine not doing it. Enroll now. 760-322-1420 or online, voasw.org. Page two of the local news served by Menchie's Frozen Yogurt and Round Table Pizza right next to each other at 508 East Annenberg Drive in El Centro. Southwest High School getting an aquatic center. George Gale explains. Southwest should have their own swimming complex sometime next year. Construction is set to begin at the end of this year. The uh, Southwest swim team currently uses the Central Union High School swimming facilities. Funding for the complex was approved in 2016. After years of planning, they are now just about ready for construction. The complex will include polo courts, a shallow end to support swim instructors, diving blocks, locker rooms, restrooms, and more. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. Well, chickens are in the news again and are apparently <laughs> still... <laughs> Can you believe that? Still roaming in the 1200 block of Pepper. Over the last few weeks, uh, El Centro Police and animal control uh, officers have been repeatedly in the area looking for the free-roaming fowl. So far, the chickens have uh, avoided traps set in the area. Must be highly trained, I would assume. <laughs> yeah, and more. County uh, Election Department is recruiting poll workers. 
Here's more on that story. The campaign began on August 23rd. That was National Poll Worker Recruitment Day. They say poll workers are the backbone of the democratic process. They ensure that elections are run smoothly. Rolls are votes. Votes are counted accurately. And everyone's voice is heard. The department says it is a good way to make a difference in your community and play a vital role in our democracy. Go to the uh, County Elections Department website for all the information on how to become a poll worker. Applications are also available at that website. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. We'll be back with a look at the weather. Menchie's is spreading smiles with our delicious self-serve frozen yogurt. Choose from flavors like Red Velvet Royal and Milk Chocolate Mania. And then pile on the toppings. At Menchie, you make your mix exactly how you want it. Whether you're celebrating a special event or just catching up with friends and family, this is a place to mix and chill. Menchie's, located next to the Round Table Pizza, 508 East Annenberg Drive in El Central. Stop by in today for a cup of yum and fun. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. According to the National Weather Service, temperatures will fall below normal for the end of the week before drier, warmer conditions set in for the start of next week. 110 are high yesterday, 84 the overnight low. Mostly sunny today with a high near 108. Heat index values as high as 115. Look for winds out of the east, southeast, about 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 25 miles an hour. Partly cloudy tonight with a low around 84. South wind 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 25 miles an hour. The winds become west in the evening. Friday, mostly sunny with a high near 102. East southeast wind 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting as high as 20 miles an hour, becoming south southwest later in the morning. Saturday, sunny with a high near 97. Northwest wind about 10 miles an hour, becoming south in the afternoon. Sunday, sunny with a high near 100. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Monday, Labor Day, sunny with a high near 98. Northwest wind about 10 miles an hour, 86 degrees, 79% relative humidity, wind out of the north, northeast, 5 to 7 miles an hour. Page two of the local news with weather served by Round Table Pizza and Menchie's Frozen Yogurt, 508 East Annenberg Drive in El Centro. San Diego, the Ford Labor Day Celathon is back. It's bigger with inventory on the ground and ready for you now. It's bolder. With the hottest models and latest technology, it's better. With offers so good, you can't pass them up. Right now, during the Labor Day Sellathon only, get 1,000 open trade assist cash on F-150, Mustang, and across the Ford SUV lineup. We have the inventory. We have the offers, but they're not going to last. It's the Ford Labor Day Sellathon, and it's bigger, bolder, and better than ever. Hurry, it all ends September 4th, so go to your San Diego County Ford dealers today. Open trade assist cash available on the 2022-23 Ford Escape, 2023 Edge, Expedition, Explorer, Bronco Sport, Mustang, and F-150. Open trade assist cash requires trade-in 95 for newer vehicle or lease terminated 30 days prior to or 90 days after new retail delivery. Residency restrictions apply. For all offers, take new retail delivery from an authorized Ford dealer stock by September 4th, 2023. All offers valid at Imperial County Ford dealers. And it's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. Well, uh, Tommy Edmond for the second straight game, a walk-off uh, hit. And, uh, well, that gave the Cardinals a 5-4 win over the Padres. Yeah, I, Padres can't catch a break. Anyway, Angels beat up on the Phillies 10-8. Bryce Harper hit his 300th home run. Not enough. It was the White Sox 10, the Orioles 5. Guardians topped the Twins 5-2 in 10 innings. The Cubs nipped the Brewers 3-2. Blue Jays blanked the Nationals 7-0. Reds over the Giants 4-1. Astros beat the Red Sox 7-4. Mariners shaded the Athletics 5-4. Yankees won. They beat the Tigers 6-2. Rays blanked the Marlins 3-0 in 10 innings. Mets 6, Rangers 5. Pirates over the Royals, 4-1. to one. Braves top the Rockies, 7-3. to three. And the Dodgers shut out the Diamondbacks. That one ended up 
nothing. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. Well, the largest crowd to witness a women's sports event filled Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska, as 92,003 watched the five-time NCAA champion Nebraska volleyball team beat uh, Nebraska Omaha 3 nothing. After the Huskers won the first two sets, the attendance record was announced to the red-clad Nebraska faithful, who cheered wildly. Been to the stadium. Yeah, and they filled it for volleyball. Way to go. Yeah, their volleyball much better than their football team these days. And with the regular season opener in Pittsburgh rapidly approaching, the San Francisco 49ers are still without star defensive end Nick Bosa because of a contract dispute. Niners coach Kyle Shanahan and general manager John Lynch remain steadfast that Bosa will sign a lucrative contract extension and that there's no scenario in which they will trade Bosa. And uh, Friday night football around the Imperial Valley. Palo Verde will travel to Grossmont. And uh, Brawley will host Canyon Hills. The kickoff set for 6.30 Friday night in Brawley. And uh, Cibola at Imperial. Kickoff set for 7.30 in that game. Mickey Dale, George Grajava will be there. Vincent Memorial will host El Cajon Valley. Calipatria hosting O'Farrell Charter. Hopeville is at uh, Mountain Empire, southwest in Yuma to take on Gila Ridge. John Driffle and I will be traveling to Ramona. It'll be the Central Spartans, Ramona Bulldogs, in a rematch of a CIF playoff game last year. That was a great one. Looking for a good one tomorrow night. Uh, that's it for Sports Time. Sports Time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers. <coughs> when a cold comes on strong, <coughs> knock it out with Vicks Dayquil Severe for max strength daytime relief. Just one dose of Vicks Dayquil Severe starts to relieve nine of your worst cold and flu symptoms to help take you from nine to none. Power through your day with Vicks Dayquil Severe. The daytime non-drowsy, coughing, aching, fever, sore throat, nine to none medicine. Use as directed. WeatherGuard, the name that stands for unmatched security in truck boxes, is now making a name for itself on the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series circuit. WeatherGuard is the official sponsor of the safety and security work crews at Speedway Motorsports tracks across the country. Engineered to meet the demands from job sites to race sites, WeatherGuard truck boxes feature double welded seams, weather tight seals, and high security latches and locks. If it's a job worth doing, it's a job worth WeatherGuard. Learn more at weatherguard.com slash truck. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. U.S. inflation may have remained elevated in July, but consumers just wanted to have some fun. New Commerce Department data released uh, today shows that consumer spending jumped eight-tenths of a percent last month as shoppers shelled out for restaurants, live shows, toys, games, and recreational equipment. The Personal Income and Outlays Report for July also showed that the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge remained high but grew at a monthly rate that's more in line with the central bank's 2% target. Drivers hitting the roads Labor Day weekend will be greeted by historically high gas prices for this time of year. The record high for gas prices during the week leading up to uh, Labor Day was set in 2012 at about 384 a gallon. Yeah. Current prices are just shy of that everywhere in the nation except California where you're going to pay uh, five bucks or so per gallon. Yeah, thank you, Sacramento. Really do appreciate it. Normally, prices at the pump cool off as the summer winds down, but 
So far, not uh, this summer. And Dollar General slashed its sales and profit outlook for the year on uh, Thursday, blaming headwinds, including weaker consumer spending on non-essential purchases and increasing theft. Dollar General shares tumbled nearly 17% in pre-market trading early today. Speaking of trading, the Dow showing green up 96 points at 34,986. The S&P 500 up 12 at 45,26. The Nasdaq up 63 at 14,081. Gold off 3.30 an ounce. Oil up a buck 51 a barrel. Better buy now before it goes higher. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, and Postal Service Center. We even offer text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. It will be mostly sunny today with a high near 108, but heat index values will make it feel 115. East wind 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Partly cloudy tonight with a low around 84. South wind 10 to 15 miles an hour gusting up to 25 miles an hour. Winds will come out of the west later in the evening. Friday, mostly sunny with a high near 102. East-southeast wind 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Those winds then turning out of the south-southwest. And we are up to 87 degrees, and we're still holding it 79% relative humidity. It'll make your hair curl. Uh, wind is out of the north-northeast 5 to 7 miles per hour. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services. They offer 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal. You'll find them at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. Just ahead, CBS News on the hour. We'll be back right after that. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro on AM 1230. is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Steve Kathan. It's the morning after Hurricane Idalia in Florida, and Governor Ron DeSantis says... There has been um, significant damage, particularly along Florida's Big Bend, uh, but the community is resilient, and we are going to work hard to make sure people get what they need. Storm surge caused major coastal damage. Strong winds knocked out power. It's blamed for at least three deaths. Gulf Coast restaurant manager Anna King says there's a lot to deal with. The business owners didn't just lose their businesses. They lost their homes, too. We're finding places for them to stay so they can stay here on site and keep working. I'm Jim Crystal in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. There has been major tidal flooding in downtown Charleston and numerous flood warnings are posted in North Carolina east of I-95. There has been property damage from suspected tornadoes in several areas. There are widespread power outages. No deaths or serious injuries have been reported from the storm in the Carolinas. In a filing just made public, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas acknowledges he took three Trips last year, a private plane owned by a Republican mega donor. Reports indicate he's received major gifts for years. Not a South Africa. A crowd in Johannesburg could only watch as crews fought a fire in an old building. The blaze killed more than 70 people. Many homeless people were in the place. North Korea says its latest missile tests were designed to send a strong message. As we hear from CBS's Cami McCormick. John Yang says its launches were a simulation of scorched earth nuclear strikes on South Korea. And a drill was also staged to rehearse occupying South Korean territory. North Korea has been increasing its protests over U.S.-South Korean military drills. The Kremlin, meanwhile, said today that Russia intends to develop ties with the North. It did not confirm a White House belief that Vladimir Putin exchanged letters with Kim Jong-un. The government says consumer price. Prices rose just a fraction from June to July. Compared to a year ago, they were up more than 3%. Heading into Labor Day weekend, AAA says a gallon of regular gas costs 3.83 nationally. 
A penny less than a year ago. CBS's Haley Ott. Fuel analyst Patrick DeHaan says with summer coming to a close, prices should start dropping after Labor Day, barring any surprises. I do think that the trend will remain downwards for the potential of the next few weeks, especially as we get into mid and late September. That's when a combination of the transition back to cheaper winter gasoline and falling gasoline demand should pave the way for lower prices. Right now on Wall Street, the Dow is up 83 points. This is CBS News. When you think of hiring, think of Indeed. Their end-to-end -end hiring system helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all in the same place. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Labor Day savings are here at Lowe's. Get up to an additional $1,500 off select major kitchen appliances. And save $100 off select laundry pairs, priced $1,396 or more. Plus, make your big purchases easy with Lowe's Pay, our new flexible buy now, pay later payment option. Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid through 9-6. Apply and savings vary based on purchase amounts. Exclusions apply. See Lowe's.com for details. Subject to credit approval. The extracurricular activities. The traffic. The nightly homework. The traffic. The finding time to eat dinner together as a family. The traffic. Back to school can be stressful. Thanks to Ziploc, meal prep doesn't have to be. New Ziploc bags with Stay Open Design have a patented stand-up bottom that helps keep the bag upright and a top crease that folds and holds for easy filling, unlocking a second set of hands in the kitchen. If only it unlocked a second set of lanes. New Ziploc brand freezer and storage bags with Stay Open Design from SC Johnson, a family company. Some noisy stuff at a state fair in the Midwest. <laughs> They're packing in at the Poultry Barn at the Minnesota State Fair for the Rooster Crowing Contest. Kate and David Guillen's white-legged horn bantam leads the top six semifinalists going beak to beak for the title. You thought he looked like he was the man. He looked like a winner, but I'm like, man, he really came through. Last year's champ, Buster, at number three, is hoping to crow his way back to the top spot. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. Batteries in older Nissan Leaf electric vehicles are getting a new life. Those that can still hold a charge after owners have stopped driving those cars are being repurposed as portable power sources that can be used to run gadgets or deliver emergency power in disasters. The devices are being developed with electronics maker JVC Kenwood. I'm Steve Kathan, CBS News. <laughs> And now, more of the best oldies on the radio with Carol Buckley. Yeah, for some reason or another, you sound a little taller on radio. <laughs> AM 1230 KXO. 